The murder of Perth brothel Madam Shirley Finn in the 1970s is one of our state's high-profile unsolved crimes. There are long-held allegations members of the WA police are responsible for her death. Now Shirley Finn's daughter has spoken for the first time, desperate for police files on her mum's death to be handed over for independent investigation. They say the wheels of justice turn slowly, but the wait can be agonising. Consumes my life. Bridget Finn was just 13 when her mum was murdered. We had a barbecue. Um, I was sent to bed, bed early. I got up the next morning and she wasn't home. It was 1975 and it appears someone found it amusing to ask the mum of three to dress up for her own death. She came here to the Royal Perth Golf Club dressed in a full-length ball gown worth thousands of dollars. The Quinana Freeway just metres away. A vice squad detective would later say it's a known meeting spot for police and their informants. The 33-year-old was shot four times at close range with a sawn-off rifle. John and Jenny Manns drove past the crime scene, writing down the number plate of a car parked next to Shirley Finn's. They claim police didn't record their evidence. Once again, this information seems to have disappeared. We were warned, be concerned about our safety. The 70s was a time when police controlled Perth's brothels, deciding who could run one. Shirley Finn was a madam in with the cops and she paid for the right. This is when the coppers collected. There was Shirley Finn still alive. Shirley Finn was murdered days before she was due to face a tax hearing. She'd threatened to say who she was paying. For Bridget Finn, years of guessing what happened to her mum has taken its toll. She wants answers. I just want an inquiry or another state to take over the police files or for them to handle it over, not knowing there's no closure. I wait beside the door. Juliet Wills, Nine News.